Can Christians do martial arts? The short and fast answer is no. Still wondering, can Christians do martial arts? Watch, and I'll reveal my experience with martial arts, why you should avoid it, and the best alternatives that Christians can use for self-defense. Martial arts has grown in popularity. It's in movies, TV shows, and even video games. Believe it or not, martial arts is a way of life. You enter as a white belt and aim to reach the black belt. It teaches you self-defense, discipline, and meditation. Sounds good so far, but martial arts originates from Eastern spirituality, meaning it goes completely against Christian beliefs. You learn that through physical actions you can concur self, and it opens portals that can allow access for demonic spirits to enter you. When this happens, you can do things that you may think you did on your own, but in reality, it was the demonic influence that has entered you that really did it. This builds pride in you, and we all know what comes before a fall. There are many different forms of martial arts, and no, none of them are okay for a Christian to learn. That being said, it's totally okay for a Christian to defend himself, his family, or someone that is in need of help. I had a fascination with martial arts at a young age and wanted to learn how to defend myself above the knowledge of the average person. First, I learned what I could from videos and friends. Then I decided to take classes, and that lasted almost two years. My instructor was a sixth dan in judo taekwondo and also a black belt in Muay Thai kickboxing. So he taught all three forms of martial arts and included a lot of sparring in each class. He also taught meditation and spiritual aspects that I didn't feel comfortable with, but it was part of the overall training. When you begin martial arts, you start each session with warm-up exercises and bow to the instructor and to other students. At first, I just enjoyed the physical aspects of martial arts, and I did grow in confidence as I learned new ways to defend myself, which gradually turned me very prideful. On top of learning martial arts, I was also into bodybuilding and had size and strength. About nine months into my training, I got a new roommate that was also into martial arts. He was about half my size, but a three RD degree black belt in judo. We got into an argument about who could win in a fight, and he stopped me in about three minutes. It was a very humbling experience, and it was at that moment I realized how prideful I was becoming. To top it off, I kept ignoring God's warning about quitting the martial arts. I had opened a portal to the demonic and become very fast at punching, kicking, and taking down an opponent that I knew was out of my control. At the time, I couldn't explain it, but it felt like my physical movements during a fight or sparring was being controlled beyond my natural abilities. This is one way how martial arts can become addicting because you can gain skills and powers you didn't have in the beginning. And I began to enjoy fighting, and rage would build in me where there was none before I started martial arts. Even though my ego was dropped down a notch or two from my roommate beating me so fast, I knew with more training I could beat him in time, and my ego fueled me to continue martial arts for the remaining time I was involved with it. So I focused more on myself and what I could do physically and less and less on God. In fact, I started to focus almost 100% on martial arts and gave God almost none of my time. When it would have been the other way around in the beginning, it was very subtle and by the time I realized it, I needed help to go back to following Christ. I just remember hearing God's voice that I was going down a dangerous path and I actually listened this time. It was at that moment my interest in martial arts began to fade and I ended my training. I began to read the Bible again and get rid of my martial arts gear and get delivered from evil spirits. Other Christians have similar testimonies about their involvement with martial arts and warm other Christians to stay away from it. In my opinion, the biggest danger of martial arts is the spirituality aspect that is purely demonic. If you're a Christian, you should have no part of it. Alternatives to martial arts. So you still want to learn self-defense, but understand it won't be from learning martial arts. What can you do instead that really works? Here are some alternatives to martial arts. Learn self-defense. Start kickboxing at home. These ideas are just a few of the ways you can learn to defend yourself without getting involved with martial arts. You can check out self-defense classes in your area, and in some cases they are completely free. Everyone, especially women and children, should learn how to protect themselves from an attacker. Although there are many other ways Christians can protect and defend themselves that are very effective. 
martial arts is demonic, and Christians should have nothing to do with it. It draws you away from God and puts the focus on yourself. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos, and please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye for now.